An arrest has been made following a crash near Angora Hill that claimed two lives. KNDB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, a 31-year-old man driving a dump truck was arrested following a crash that took the lives of two people Tuesday afternoon near Angora Hill. The Nebraska State Patrol says the crash occurred at approximately 12.45 p.m. with the preliminary investigation showing the southbound dump truck was attempting to enter the construction zone on Highway 385 when the driver failed to yield the right-of-way and collided with a northbound Ford F-350 north of the L-62A junction. The driver and rear seat passenger of the F-350 were pronounced deceased at the scene and the front seat passenger was taken to Morrill County Community Hospital with what are believed to be non-life-threatening injuries. Their identities currently are being withheld pending notification of family. The driver of the dump truck, Aldo Hernandez Meza of Mexico, was arrested for motor vehicle homicide and failure to yield the right-of-way. The crash remains under investigation with the assistance of the Morrill County Sheriff's Office. Well, the dual county clerk has been arrested following an investigation by the Nebraska State Patrol. 59-year-old Polly Olson of Chapel has been charged with two counts of theft by unlawful taking between $1,500 and $4,999 and one count of theft by unlawful taking $5,000 or more. NSP investigators developed information that Olson had purchased more than $18,000 worth of personal items from various retailers using an official dual county credit card from June of 2019 through August of 2021 that were not reimbursed by her to the county. A warrant for her arrest was issued yesterday with troopers arresting her a short time later without incident and booked her into the Garden County Jail. We'll have more news right after this. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether it is building, buying, or renovating, we have the home loan or home equity line of credit to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. High Plains Auto Club presents the 23rd Annual Father's Day Rock and Roll Classic. Friday, June 17th, registration begins at 2 p.m. at the Gearing Civic Center with a welcome barbecue, cruise for cash, and ice cream social. Saturday, June 18th, parade at 9 a.m., show and shine from 10 to 4, and awards banquet. To enter, go to highplainsautoclub.com or call 308-765-2418. This event is sponsored by Dairy Queen, Dooley Oil, and KNEB Rural Radio Network. Welcome back. A 25-year-old Terrytown woman who is already out on bond on a fentanyl distribution charge is back in custody after getting caught with hundreds more of suspected fentanyl pills. Tiffany Anaya was arrested earlier this month after failing to check out of her Scottsdale motel room and staff found fentanyl pills and contacted police. She had then called the hotel to ask if she could book another night and when she returned, police were there waiting to arrest her. A search of her car resulted in the discovery of 253 suspected fentanyl pills and just over a gram of methamphetamine. She was charged with distribution of an exceptionally hazardous drug, possession of a controlled substance, and no drug tax stamp, identical charges that she's facing stemming from her April arrest. Well, the Scottsdale City Council has heard concerns for the last three meetings from a group of concerned citizens about the reckless driving done by cruisers on Friday and Saturday night. Esther Benson represents a group of neighbors that live between the 2400 and 2700 block of Broadway. 
who says these drivers are racing at a high rate of speed and creating a lot of noise. He has got to be addressed. You cannot roll your eyes at me. You cannot dismiss it. My friend has called at least a dozen times again in the last two weeks. The neighbors have also. You cannot ignore this is a serious issue. This guy's of police department has been able to secure a speed enforcement grant funded by the Nebraska Department of Transportation Highway Safety Office. This grant will allow for two extra patrol officers for Broadway and 27th Street every Friday and Saturday night until mid August. And count Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts out when it comes to support for a gas tax holiday for Nebraska drivers. Rickett said during his statewide radio call-in show this week that such a solution would not solve the underlying need to come up with a new source of energy. The, the long-term solution is actually what we have to do with regard to helping explore our own energy resources. And at the end of the day, if you're going to take a gas tax holiday, that's going to be temporary. And that money at the end of the day is still going to have to be made up if you're going to want to maintain your roads. Eight states have temporarily suspended their gas tax or a gas tax increase this year, while the idea has been proposed in several others, according to Kiplinger magazine. Nebraska's gas tax rate is 24.8 cents a gallon for the first six months of the year. It will be adjusted on July 1st based on fuel prices and legislative appropriations. Well, coming up for the break, we will head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society to meet a familiar face for our featured Pet of the Week. Why love a rain garden? Let me count the ways. Rain gardens contain and filter water runoff while recharging our underground water supply. They provide habitat for birds, bees, and beneficial insects. Native perennials give four seasons of color and texture, beautifying a home while increasing its value. Established gardens are low maintenance, low water landscape features. Colorful, functional, and sustainable. Rain gardens. Brought to you by Tri City Stormwater. Our water, our responsibility. I really like how our OB department takes our limited amount of, of doctors and turns it into a strength. Even though we only have a couple of people, you get to know them well over your entire pregnancy. We have two state-of-the-art labor rooms that are new with our last edition. We have a couple of very nice postpartum rooms also right here in the hospital so they can get as much time with mom and baby as possible. This week's featured pet of the week, we shine the light again once again on Casper, a great dog who truly needs a great forever home. Casper is ready to be free from the shelter life and enjoy his time as a spoiled best friend. Staff says he loves to go on scenic walks, go on car rides, and snuggle up in a comfy bed to rest. Casper's adoption cost is $150, and that includes his neuter, microchipping, and vaccinations. Plus, whoever adopts Casper will also receive a $25 Murdoch's gift card to start spoiling him right away.
Welcome to Kelly's, home of the Valley's best selection of wine, spirits, and beer. Whether you're brand loyal to the tried and true brew or really enjoy trying something different and new, Kelly's has something for everyone. Family owned and operated and right on your way on West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Kelly's Liquor, if you can't find it at Kelly's, it's not worth drinking. Let's take a peek at what's happening on your midweek community calendar. The Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. Panhandle Trails Inner City Public Transit, based in Alliance, Nebraska, is the only inner city bus serving Nebraska Panhandle communities and Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Panhandle Trails operates a regularly scheduled bus service, assisting you in making connections with Greyhound Bus Partners, regional airports, healthcare, employment and education opportunities, shopping, family, friends, and more. Panhandle Trails serves the general public of all ages and offers accessible transportation for those with special mobility needs. Let Panhandle Trails help you make your connection. Call 308-761-8747. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether you are just starting the business you have always imagined or looking to grow your existing one, we have a business loan to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. 
And finally tonight, it could be the end of an era for a decades-long tradition in Dawes County. Farm Director Shabella Guzman has that story. Fort Robinson will host its final Ride the Ridge Trail on Saturday, June 18th, led by a couple of the original trail bosses, Don Hulls and Marvin Lewer. Hull says the event began as a way to showcase the trails at Fort Robinson. Hull says over the 30-some rides they have had since the inception of the Ride the Ridge, they have had people come from all over and admire the fort and range. It's staggering, but most of them always say, I had no idea it was this beautiful in northwest Nebraska. <laughs> anyway, uh, that, that's been one of the staggering things, so to speak, on it is most of the people, the, certainly those with some distance, they have no idea there was, you know, this kind of country here. And in specific, since Fort Rob has been a huge cooperator on this, they say we had no idea. Fort Robinson existed and what it was back when. Hull says while they have great support from Fort Robinson and the communities, they have run out of volunteers. It has really nothing to do with it. You covered all the trails. That isn't part of it. There's still more trails. And uh, there's we're down to about four of us. And uh, we just kind of said, well, it takes a little bit more than that to kind of pull it off. And we just said, man, there's only four of us left on our committee, so to speak. But but if some other group or set of volunteers or committee is interested, we'd work with them in a heartbeat to make it keep going, you know. Registration for Ride the Ridge will be June 18th at 8 a.m. with a morning trail ride scheduled to start at 9. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.